doing today? Welcome to the Winter Riser Trailer Bill Suff Show, eh? Freaking right, boys and girls, peoples. I know I'm just in the top corner here. This is the way she's gotta be, it is. So, when you're winterizing your trailer, you're gonna need a screwdriver, a screwdriver, maybe some sockets and some wrenches. Freaking right you are. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna pull the drain on the old hot water tank we are. I put in one of those um, electric heat rods I did on my hot water tank so I have to burn all my propane when it's free hydro. So that's what that is I'm unplugging if you're wondering. Freaking right it is. So we'll just tuck that up there like this and like that. And now we just need to find the socket to fit on this thing. We'll undo that baby we will. Undo this and you let the water flow boys. Freaking right we will. Now, I'm probably gonna have water come out of here because the lines are still a little bit pressured. So a little bit of water don't hurt nobody. Just make sure this is still all sealed in the bottom of the tank, eh? So you don't get all friggin' cocked over, boys. But as you can see, I pulled my low level lines. She's not too bad and the heat rod looks pretty good still it does. Starting to corrode a little bit, but uh, as of right now, she's mint. But we're gonna pull both friggin' doodads out. Because I like to take out both doodads, I do. That way I have a nice big hole, and we'll just leave them out, we will. So there's the other one, boys. Okay, so see, that goes into that, and that threads into that, and Bob's your freaking uncle. So I like to take them both out. We'll set them both right there, we will. So that's all there is to do in the water tank. But we'll leave this down for now, because I am going to flush some uh, coolant through the water tank, boys. But while I have you out here, and I'm right here. Oh my god. While I have you out here. Fuck off. Ditch pig just for a minute, would you? So yesterday, I was backing up. The trailer onto these planks I was and uh, wasn't quite lined up so I pulled forward and uh, a friggin piece of wood flew up and hit my friggin drain system boys so I just cocked it right over see I'm not afraid to admit when I fuck up frig no I'm not but look at it boys hey eh? snap that off well, thank god the shitter pipe itself is good I didn't break the shitter pipe but I broke that one too over there he did look at it boys eh? so all I can say is uh, winterized eh so I winterize him boys Friggin' right it is. Decent. Flush some antifreeze through there. Make sure there's no antifreeze in there. And then we'll cover this up so the mice don't crow all into there and then into my drain system in the trailer and just cock me right over. Leave your comments below if you've done that before on your trailer. Pull forward, hit her with some wood, and bother your friggin' uncle. It's friggin' decent. Why wouldn't you? How the hell would you? So now that we're down over here, let's take a gander into the trailer, boys. Friggin' right, we will. I don't need much. I don't need the sockets and stuff, so we'll leave right there, we will. Okay, because I don't need them. Let's get some lights on so you can see what's really going on. It's darker than Dex in here. So when you're in your trailer, first thing you want to do is empty your fridge for the winter and make sure you put on these little doodad thingy-mabobbers so it holds your fridge open. Oh, and make sure you don't do that, boys. So you want to make sure your fridge is open so you don't get mold and stuff in there and it just stinks like hell. That would not be good. But the next thing we need to do is we're going to tear this bed up here and we got to uh, shut the valves for the old hot water tank so we can flush the system. Well, let's get this stuff out of here. And we'll just throw all this on the top bunk. That's one thing nice about the top bunk, boys. We got storage up there, we do. Here, Noel. You see? Holy. Oh! Okay, one more. <laughs> Guess the daughter found a Kleenex spot. All I know is I don't sleep in this bed, so it's not jerk off friggin' pranks, boys. Just so you know, eh? <laughs> Alright, so we'll lift this up. No, you won't, because you won't be in there. That's a hydro box. Lift this up and we'll slide it back, boys. Actually, we'll get it right out of the way. Actually, you know what? Can we go this way? Sure, we can. So back here, here, let me grab you. Here, let me throw this out. So back here, we've got uh, a pass-through valve. It's really hard to see you back here, I apologize. And we got valve, hot water, and doodad and whatnot. So what you want to do to winterize is shut that one. Shut that one. And open this one. And now we're good to go. Very right we are. Why wouldn't we? And like I said, after I'm done winterizing the lines, we'll open that valve and dump a little bit into the hot water tank. Just so there's a little bit of antifreeze in the bottom of the tank of Ruski. Oh, terrible. So the next thing we need to do is we need to pull this cover off right here. So I'm glad I brought both screwdrivers because I couldn't remember which one I needed. And I needed that because, you know, they're such a good design, these trailers anymore, boys, girls, peoples. So we yank this off. And we yank this off. And in here, you have your water pump, boys. It sucks the water into the doodad, eh? So what I do is I take this hose here, and you want to take the line off that comes from the water tank down below. So in my case, it's this one. It is. So we yank this 
off, like so. Hey, like so. We'll throw this on. If I can get in there. You know, if you don't have one of these hoses, you can easily get one made or go to any of the RV dealerships and they'll make you one of these hoses, boys. So they're not hard to find. The first year I did the winterizing on the trailer, I just filled up the fresh water with the antifreeze stuff because as long as you wash out the fresh water tank, you're fine. You can do it that way too. So if you don't have this piece and you're right into it right now, just dump this into the fresh water tank and suck her through, boys. But just make sure you rinse her out real good in the spring. Careful. So now that I've done that, we'll open her up. We'll stick the hose in there, decent. And then we'll turn on the old, the old water pump, boys. There we go. So now, we'll give her the crank. Job. Oh, right on, that's working good. Oh, there it goes. Look at her suck. Uh-oh, you know what we forgot to do? Yup, look what's going on there, boys. So we're gonna shut that off. Cause I'm just draining my fluid right at the trailer right now. Frig, why wouldn't I be? I forgot I took them off yesterday to friggin' drain the water out of her. So we'll slap these back on real quick. It'll only take a sec. So we'll slap that on there like so. You kind of want to come out there anyways, because then you know everything's out, right? Friggin' right you do. Actually, let's give her another little pump and get her to come out the hot water side. Let me know when that starts squirting out the hot water side. Now we got the cold water side then. It's great, thanks boys. Perfect, friggin' right. So we'll close them off, because you know there's antifreeze there. We'll take a look up front. How much have we sucked away? So we're down to half a jug almost. So what we'll do now is we'll suck the toilet first. Oh, we gotta turn the pump back on, boys. I apologize. I'm afraid. Ooh, that smells good. So we'll turn the pump back on and she'll suck some more. We'll shut these off. Holy, look at her, eh? Definitely pumping some friggin' fluids already we are. Oh, we're out of juice, Bruce. Let me grab another jug, boys. I normally get about three jugs, I do. Come on, suck that fluid. There she goes. We got the front one done. So that's this one. Beautiful, look at that. Pure pink. Hit that one. Pure pink. Decent. Hit this one. Pure pink. Decent. Pure pink. Decent. And toilet, boys. There's a pink boy. Let her go, eh? Actually, while we're doing that, boys, let's throw a little capsule in there too, eh? We'll give her a double capsule. How we doing for jugs? Look at her sucked you. Perfect. So now that that's done, we're pretty much done, we are. So normally I put some in the, the gray waters. Normally I put some in too, right? But I broke them off, so they're not going to hold anything. But now that we're done that, we can basically pull this hose out, shut the pump down, take the hose off, put the other hose back on, and Bob's your friggin' uncle. He is really your uncle, Bob. You know that? Bob's pretty decent. All right, make sure you wipe up any water that you spilt, which you're always gonna spill some. If you don't, you're a lot better than I am. So now we've done that, we're pretty much done. For frig's sakes, didn't take long at all. Oh no, we're not done. Frig, see what happens when I'm recording? I forget to pump some into the friggin' doodad. No, well, I'm gonna take, take the time to pull it back off. You don't, wanna, you don't wanna fuck around with your hot water tank. Forget about the hot water tank, so I'm hooking this other hose back up that sucks out of the jug, boys. Girls, people, just so you know. Take the time and do it right. If you forget something, go back and do it. Cause you'll kick yourself right in the arse hole. So what we wanna do is kick this valve open. Hear it? It's pushing the antifreeze water into the tank. There we go. So that just fed water we had in those lines and pushed them right out the hot water tank, both sides, top and bottom. If you're never sure, always take a walk. So there you go, see? The water's pink. So that means I got all pure antifreeze in the hot water tank. So no chance of freezing. So it goes to show you that you can get away with two jugs of antifreeze you can. Freaking right you can. So we'll get this back off again. Then we'll take the excess and mess to completely. You know, just throw it anywhere you want. We can actually throw this back on him because I'm done with that and it's hooked up. So you can actually just slap some water to her in the spring. Some people leave them unhooked. I don't because why the hell would I? Slap that on there. Slap that on there. Make sure you put your cloves in your trailer to keep the uh, little buggers out, eh? The little critters. I use cloves, I do. Bag of cloves and it works freaking decent. Okay, so just put some cloves in your trailer and uh, it keeps the little critters out of it, it does. All I got left to do now, basically, shut the lights down, fix my sewer lines, put the rest that's left in here into the shitter pipe. Perfect. I like to keep her in the shitter pipe, boys. Don't forget to uh, hit that like button if you like this video. 
and uh, hopefully I'm helpful on the old uh, winterizing trailer. But like I said, don't forget and break off your ship pipes and angle elbows and thingamabobber and whatnot on the back of the trailer there because that sucked. Figuring right it did, but we'll fix them in the spring together and I'll show you how I do that because I want to re-wet them a little differently so they don't hang so low. Hey, freaking ready to do. Anyways, hopefully everybody's having a good day, not doing anything I didn't do, and uh, hopefully you enjoy this video. So, you know what to do for now. <laughs>